This is from Nazrael from Jakarta, Indonesia. And he says, My boss is so old school. He's bad in making PowerPoint slides. He refuses to use WhatsApp to discuss group issues. I can't make him appreciate how it allows communication faster. He still uses a thumb drive to share heavy files when there is Google Drive. Help. His ways of working is dragging the whole team and is slowing us down. Can I get an exclamation mark if you can relate to this person? Right? It may not be your boss. It could be an office mate. It could be your agent or your customer, for example. Okay? By the way, uh, Kelly says, embrace change. Embrace the new normal. I like that. Kiko also says, disagree. Technology is here to help. Very good. Jenny also says, in the long haul, everybody wins anyway, so we have to grow up. That is correct. Very good. Thank you for sharing that. So here are a few tips that I'd like to share about this kind of colleague. Number one, identify and segregate what you can versus what you cannot control. The key to managing these kinds of people is to know what are the sources of stress and anxiety. What can you control? You can control how you react. You can control to be really agitated. You can control if you really are going to take this personally. What you cannot control is your boss's mindset and set skills. You can change it overnight. If they really don't want to do it, they can't. So if you cannot change your boss, change how you react. Look instead into the other positive things about your manager. Look instead into how in the future, perhaps, you can teach your boss Look into the idea that, hey, it makes you feel better because you know something that your boss doesn't know, even if that's a superficial thing. My point is, know the difference between the two and don't take it against yourself if you cannot solve the problem because some things are things that you cannot control at all. Okay? Can I get an exclamation mark if you can relate to that? So let me... Show this video from the chat box. Emil says, I have this old workmate before. What I did is to help them on how to cope on how to use our technology today. That's a good thing. By the way, by the way this one's a very good, uh, it's a very fitting case study because I think in Net on Netflix, uh, a few days ago, they, they put online the intern, the one between Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro, if you know that. So it's this Generation X guy who went back to work to, have a job again in the office. So that's the first one. Number two I'd like to share is demonstration and exposure are the key. Most folks do not use technology because they think it's just fashionable, because they think it's cool to use it. What they forget is that technology was designed to make things easier. So when you tell them about a certain software or app, do not position it that it's because you want to make yourself look cool. Show to them the utility. And remember, guys, Generation X people are utility-driven. They are functionality-driven. That's what you want to highlight. Okay? You're using it not because it's trendy, not because it's on TikTok, not because it's what people are talking about. You're using it because it simply works. When you position technology like that, it gets the interest of others. Okay? So demonstration is the exposure is the key. Therefore, when you're showing it to them, tell them and ask them questions. What do you think is your number one problem when sharing file? Let them answer and then tell them, ah, if that is the case, this is why this app can help you on that. The more you expose them to these activities, the more they get the hang of it. And remember, it doesn't happen overnight. So let them experience the technology firsthand. Okay? Finally, please take note, baby steps are the key. Do not get frustrated if they don't get it right the first time around. Sometimes it can take days. Sometimes it can take weeks. So it requires a lot of commitment in this case. Can I get an exclamation mark if you can relate to that? Very good. Let's look at another message from Kelly. Kelly says, they do not use technology because they simply do not know how to do it. Let's be friendly and approachable. Offer help to teach them in our free time. They will appreciate it. Okay? You know, the least thing that you can do is to be able to prove to yourself that you did your job teaching them. If they still don't follow it because they don't like it, then at least you've told to yourself, I've exhausted all means. I've done my job. 
that part I cannot control anymore. And that makes you sleep better at night. Okay? In this case. All right. Very good. Can I get an exclamation mark? Before we end the session, could you please give us a heart? Give us a like? Are we learning something today on how to manage and give feedback to our colleagues? Okay? By the way, I want to go back. You see what I did in this slide? The feedback is not verbal. The feedback is not directly telling the person that something is wrong with them. The feedback was based, was based on gestures and actions. Teaching them how to use it is a kind of feedback. It's telling them, I recognize your pain. I acknowledge your troubles and I'm here to help. And they get the point. Even if you don't tell it to them directly, they get the point. That's an example of feedback. Feedback does not need to be said directly and literally, verbally all the time. They can also be done in a form of gestures and also actions.